Now, performance is coming in all sorts of shapes and sizes and many different art forms, and the one you're about to see is one of my favourites, magic, and there is nobody who does it better than these two. Everyone, a massive round of applause for Penn and Teller. We're going to do the uh, oldest trick in all of magic, cups and balls. It's a classic. And we've traveled all over the world and seen all sorts of street magicians. And all of them seem to have a version of the same trick. And the trick doesn't change very much around the world, but the props do. And in China, they have these uh, beautiful metal cups handed down generation to generation. In India, these hand-carved wooden cups. But we were represented in the United States of America, so we did it with plastic cups and aluminum foil balls, and thus had the totally American, totally disposable cups and balls. Goes like this, we take the ball, we place it in our hand, we vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. Now, that's the way it's done all around the world. We take the ball, we place it in our hand, we vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. Here's a little variation Tell they came up with, where he takes the ball, place in his hand, then shows you underneath the cup that it still appears underneath the cup. Now, if you did that center ball, place it visibly into the center cup, do the two balls, put them away, they still regroup underneath the center cup. You have three balls here, here's a little bit of juggling, and while you're looking at the juggling, there's a final ball under there, a giant ball on either side, and of course, for the finish, it's an American baseball right there. Now, after we had done the uh, American cups and balls for a while, we wanted to kind of zoom in and do a pen and teller cups and balls, which involves breaking a few rules of magic. Now, the first rule of magic is you never do the same trick twice. So we're going to do the same trick twice. Second rule of magic is you never tell the audience how a trick is being done. So I'm going to tell you exactly how the trick is being done. The third rule of magic is you never let the audience see your secret preparation. They must not know what is hidden in which pocket. And the fourth rule of magic is unwritten, but we believe any magician in the world would agree with us in a second, that you never ever do the cups and balls with clear plastic cups. So here is the pen and teller version of the cups and balls. We take the first ball, pretend to place it in our hand, having already snuck underneath the first cup. Take the second ball, simultaneously secrete it beneath the cup, put it place in our hand and show it. Take the third and final ball, pretend to place it in our hand, pretend to share it in the cup, replace it in the cup, then secretly secrete it and reveal it. Now we're all set for a second half, the cups are loaded, three balls on top. To the center ball, please send a cup. Each of the side balls, we put them away, we don't need them anymore. We have three duplicates, he's in a cup. But these three balls, I come over here, this is not called juggling. This calls misdirection. For I look over here, tells you another one under, giant ball on either side, and of course for the finish, it's a baseball right there. That's the pen and talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's skip to the good bit.